This has been a weekend off for most, but not in the case in the town of Greenfield where a tornado hit last week. Now a federal FEMA office is open there to help people get back on their feet. WHO 13's Roger Riley was back in Greenfield today and he joins us live with the latest. Yeah, hi Aaron and Janae. The recovery's underway here. A lot of work going on today. I'm going to get out of the way and let you just see kind of there's a lot to be scooped up, although a lot of crews were uh, scooping up those debris piles. Today, Robin and her mom, Edith Shecker, told me that daughter Robin was ready to leave after graduation ceremonies here to go home to Tennessee, but her little dog ran away and she stayed on to search for the dog. Then the twister hit. Yeah, because um, I wouldn't have been here if we would have found my dog. Um, I would have been on the road and when it all happened and I would have had to turn around and come right back. Aren't you thankful Robin was here? Yes, I am very much so. And I had all my pictures were stored under in a closet under the staircase and they're all fine. We got them all out. Now Edith's home was leveled, but they hid in the basement and were rescued. Meanwhile, the FEMA office has opened here in the Greenfield City Hall as a way to help Edith, now in her 80s, figure out what to do next. FEMA expects to see lots of people who need help after last week. We will ask people for some identification, a social security number of one member of the household. If you've lost everything, you can still come here and we will work with you. Let us know you have serious needs. Let us know if you've been displaced. Let us know what your situation is now. We may be able to provide money very, very rapidly. Now that FEMA office opened at City Hall from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day, and some uh, FEMA people are going actually door to door here where the damage is, uh, and also seeking people out at the uh, lunch and relief spots to uh, see if anybody else wants to or needs to do some paperwork. And uh, so this is going to be going on for some time. A lot of uh, a lot of paperwork to fill out, but yet a lot of need at this time. Yeah, so true, Roger. And we know that's going to be the case for many days, weeks and months to come. Thanks so much. Well, it is Memorial Day. Some people assumed there wouldn't be any sort of service in Greenfield. But look at this. The community still held a ceremony. A small group gathered at the Greenfield Cemetery south of town. Crosses for new veterans who passed were put up along with some new flags. Well, this morning at 10 o'clock, we put up uh, five new veterans flags that are dedicated to our Avenue of Flags. And then we have 10 brand new white crosses, white veteran crosses that we would normally put about 700 in the sunken garden at the Greenfield Cemetery. Commander Larry Riley says that even though there is a lot going on, the Legion wanted to recognize veterans who had passed this year.